Hi, in this video we are discussing on how we can set up and configure TFTP server on Windows 10. A TFTP server is basically used to transfer files between systems that are connected over a network. TFTP, also known as Trivial File Transfer Protocol, is an internet software utility that you can use to send, your, send or receive a file from a remote system. The protocol is very basic and doesn't provide much security to the files that are being transferred. We all know the Windows Home Group that lets you share files over a network without any grid hurdle. However, it has been removed from Windows 10 in the version 1803 update due to which alternate resolution are required. A quick workaround would be to use TFTP server. It's simple and easy to set up. In this video, we'll be using the SolarWinds TFTP server, which is pretty easy to use and it lets you transfer files with reliability and at a fast speed over a network. We also recommend using SolarWinds TFTP server since they are a specialist company specifically developing software and solution for large organizations to help manage their networks, systems and IT infrastructure. Let me quickly show you the link where you can download TFTP server. This link is given in video's description. Open the link. Before we move further, there are certain things that you will be requiring uh, which we should um, cover here. The first prerequisite is administrator account. If you are not using an administrative account, you will not be able to set up a TFTP server on your system. So therefore, please make sure you are logged in as an administrator. Second, you will need SolarWinds TFTP server, which we are going to download from here. Third, we need to we need port forwarding. To allow remote access to your TFTP server, you will need to forward UDP port 69 to the IP address on your network from your router in order to allow users from outside your network access the server. However, if remote connection is not needed, then you don't need to forward the ports. Once all of it's done, uh, we can move forward with setting up the server. Let me quickly start the download process. So the file has been downloaded. Uh, let's open the location where it is placed. Let's extract it. And let's install the TFTP server. The installation is pretty straightforward uh, process. Um, it will require 3.5 uh, framework that's downloaded okay so the dotnet framework 3.5 is installed we'll proceed with the installation process let's wait for the install and click on send let me close out all these windows okay so the server installation is done. Let's launch the server configuration window. Now if you have decided to allow access to, FT to TFTP server from outside your network, local network such as your home or office or anywhere else, we'll need to ensure that you use a static IP uh, or have your dynamic IP added to the whitelist. By default, the TFTP server allows all IP addresses to send and receive files along with port forwarded. You can add IP range to allow multiple IPs or a shortened range to allow one device only as well. So to configure the um, IP addresses, let's click on file menu and click on configure. Go to security tab and modify the setting as per your requirement. Now to set up the server, first of all we'll go to File, click Configure. If you want to show your server in Windows System Tray, you can check this box. And then you'll have to choose the server root directory. This is where all the received files will be saved. 
if you want to send over uh, some files you will have to copy the files to this directory first and then um, you, you can also choose a different location for example if you have another drive on, on the computer you can choose a different drive and folder for your root directory so I'll keep the same once this is done we can go to security tab if you want to only send files you can choose this option if you want both send and receive operations you can choose first option and if it is just to receive files over the network you can choose the relative options you can also add a few accepted IP addresses range here as we have mentioned it before you can select IP restrictions in this configuration to allow certain users to interact with the server once this is done let's uh, go back to the server so once we have set up the TFTP server uh, the next step comes to uh, how we can send and receive files using TFTP server to start off uh, if you want to make these uh, make the server available over the network you need to forward port 69 um, to allow outside network users uh, it is port forwarding is usually different from uh, for different firmware uh, we can't cover them all however to give you the basic insight you'll have to access your routers control panel go to advanced setup and locate NAT or port forward there just make a new entry and forward UDP port 69 on your IPv4 address and um, it is important to note here if you don't intend to transfer files remotely you don't have to forward any ports the next step comes for the TFTP client go to start menu and then open control panel programming features click on turn windows feature on or off from here select TFTP client click OK and wait for the setup to complete now remember you should add this feature on a computer which doesn't have TFTP server installed this video is for demonstration purpose so I have installed the same uh, I have installed this TFTP client on the same box but you have to install it on a different box uh, uh, to use the TFTP server now uh, the next step would be to uh, to configure the firewall to allow TFTP server uh, to um, you have to either uh, turn off Windows Firewall or add an exception for the TFTP connection. Let's go to Control Panel. See um, the option Windows Firewall or Windows Defender Firewall. Now here, um, check for the option turn Windows Firewall on or off. You can turn off for both. Click OK. If you don't want to turn off your firewall, you can choose the option allow an app or feature um, to communicate through the Windows firewall. You can click. Um, or you can choose allow another app check for the tftp.exe location add that uh, in here and then allow for private and public uh, networks so uh, the next step comes for transferring files using tftp uh, we'll just try it here press windows and r key type cmd Before you transfer the files, make sure that the files that you want to send are in the server root directory. And if you want to receive the file, you'll have to use get parameter. In case you want to send a file, you will just have to use put parameter. Uh, let me quickly bring up another machine. Okay, so 
this command prompt is coming from the computer. Uh, okay, so let's try with the uh, transfer. Let's say uh, tftp hyphen i space 92.168.0.106, which is my server address. And I need to put a file there. Txt. So there, as you can see, the file is here. Same goes uh, for the uh, get command. If you want to download a file, uh, you can just use get uh, and you will get the same file from the server. If you want to now, if you want to connect to remotely, if you want to connect remotely, you can use the IP address, the public IP address of the server, uh, which is exposed on the internet, uh, and use the same command uh, to transfer the files. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.